instruments. For better or worse, (laughs) our minds are very powerful. What are you feeding your mind? What are you putting in through your eyes, through your ears? What are you feeding your soul? If you are filling your mind with ungodly content, you will get out of your mind and heart ungodly product, fruit, anxiety, fear, worry. What are you filling your mind with in the content of music? What are the lyrics to the music that you're listening to and that you're pumping in? Because you and I know this. A tune comes on the radio from our childhood We can sing every word, no problem. And that was years ago, decades ago. But then it comes to, gosh, what was that Bible verse? Because music speaks to our soul. That's why we remember it. So whatever we're putting in through music sticks and will come out. The content of the movies you watch the content of the TV shows that you're binging, or just watching. Uh, What are you watching videos? Where do you go and stream and YouTube? What's coming through that feed? Are you feeding your mind with pornography? Anxiety, worry, stress are all related to the things we're feeding our mind. When our focus is on ungodly, displeasing things, anxiety is an output because our focus is divided. Our focus is disrupted. Think on the things of the Lord that will inspire worship of Him and the desire to serve and love others. Focus. Focus on the things of God. If only there was a place that we could go to engage those things, to find those things, to meet with God, to hear from God. It's the Word of God. We need the Word of God to saturate our minds that we may be renewed. The Christian who fills his heart and mind with the Word of God will have a radar a filter of wrong, that discernment. Right thinking is the result of a continual meditation on the Word of God. Focus. Right living, an obedient life is necessary for experiencing the peace of God. As followers of Christ, if we are walking in obedience to the will of God, the peace and the presence of God will overwhelm our hearts and minds and it will overcome our anxieties the worst is yet to come but we have become so comfortable in our lives and prosperity here on earth that we have been lulled into thinking that this is our best life Christian follower of Christ this is not your best life now our best life is to come but we have hope amidst the present we have forgotten to remember and to think on the things of God. We know that the ways of the world do not work. Whether you're a follower of Christ in here today or not, we know you are learning that the ways of the world do not work. The world does not have the answers, and the solution will not come from any White House or mansion, from any political party, from a president, a prime minister, 
a king or a dictator. It won't come from a bank account, an investment account, a rising stock market, and it won't come from full shelves on a grocery store, at a grocery store. The peace of God is in the presence of God. And for those who are followers of Christ today, God, through the writing of Paul, is calling us back to himself, back to his ways, to his worldview, to his joy, to his fellowship, to his heart and mind, to his word, to his peace, to his presence. Remember whose you are. Focus. Focus.